Hello and welcome back. Today I am playing on an official Rust server with over 400 players and I'm playing solo. But this wipe actually turned out to be very interesting with loads of ups and downs and I'm giving you the opportunity to join me on my adventure. And as always I'm not putting any pressure on myself and I'm only here to have a chill time. So I'd say we get straight to the video. Ah, okay, I'm a bit late to, to the wipe of the server, um, the server wiped about 2 hours ago and it's a 400 player server but that should not be a problem, I at least hope so, but yeah, and I'm playing solo, so it's gonna be a difficult but hopefully a fairly chill time. So as always I started my wipe off by running to my desired base location and gathering all of the cloth that I found on my way. Uh, so the base line that I have planned for today is very cheap and I've actually also got a tutorial on my channel for that if you want to go check it out. And it's basically just a 2x1 that is bunker but in a really cool way that you wouldn't suspect it being a bunker. Potato! <laughs> that's perfect! And that's the first sleeping bag. And this secret bunker actually saved my base from getting raided, but more on that later. I might just get the first bag down here because if I die, then I at least don't lose my respawn points. Quick recap of the things that happen next because you don't really have to see them. <laughs> I farmed up enough for a 1x1, built my base and then like 5 people moved right next to me. Then I just thought I'd move a bit further away. Then I died on my way, had back timers, so I decided to spawn it back at the beach again. That's unfortunate. Okay. Are you happy with the fucking rock, you bitch? Back at the beach again. But what I did not know is that all this was for the best because I'd soon find the perfect location for my wipe. The location that I decided to settle down was right next to airfield and there was a lot of power lines and shit stations right next to my base and these would play a very important role later. First back down here. Okay, that is another hatchet just from pickup notes. Perfect. <laughs> Okay, that is one player. Yeah, I might settle down right here. I, I kind of like this spot, not gonna lie. So after deciding on my location, I of course yeah, started I'm to find the right base. Here. That, is, that is a good spot. Okay, that is great. Yeah, I can build right here. I might actually do that. I yeah, I kind of like this spot. Okay. Okay, and we're secure with a sleeping bag down. Get the tool cupboard down and even a campfire. Already feels like home. Okay, now what do I do next? I would like to go to airfield but I don't think that I have enough stuff. So I'd say we do a bit of farming. Wait, 
No way, that's a military crate on top of there. Since when is that possible? not bad at all. We take that. Oh no way! Oh I actually got a bow of a two cupboard. And not not two box not two cupboard. That is that is perfect. That is really good. Saves me 50 clock. That is so much loot. What? I <laughs> looted like a junk station, nothing more. Okay, decent amount of wood. Are you guys ready for the most scuffed fight in Rust history? Fuck, we're drinking water. It's the way better position. Oh shit, I... Okay, we got him. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> That's the whole inventory of, <laughs> of wood. There's no way! What the... Oh my god! Okay, I call that a start. Oh fuck! You didn't see me, eh? Yeah, I don't wanna fight. <laughs> but I need to get my base expanded and I need to do that quickly. Okay, now just the key lock and we're a bit more secure than before. That's something I guess. Okay, that's good. And after that great luck of mine, I decided to do some more scrap farming at my local shit station. Oh. That is good. Oh, I get rats. Ah, that's not good. <gasps> what the fuck is my luck? With the... I got a bow and a crossbow. What? Out of two toolboxes. <laughs> okay, that is... Once again, a lot of loot. Ooh! The guy had some loaded I killed. I completely forgot I can make a furnace. Perfect. What is... That component! My local shit shack is the best scrap method possible. Oh yeah. Now I have the metal smelting. And although the night was approaching, I decided to start off building my bunker. And as already said, there's a tutorial on my channel if you want to build it. Okay. Now. Destroy that. Oh, okay. Building it dark. Isn't that easy? Ok, 
Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Foundation. Okay, now I have to place this correctly, and I think that should be fine. And that's wrong. That is correct. I can upgrade that. Okay, I have to go back. Just like this. Okay, that is correct. This is exactly how it has to be like. If I go ahead and place a doorway here. I can place that, okay, and let's see if the magic works. Okay, that work, works perfectly. And that is a tier 1 workbench already. The start has been very smooth. And after the next morning occurred, I decided to go out once again and farm my local shit station for some more scrap. Wait, I might go for that wolf. But oh, it's two. Okay, fuck it. No way they run. Okay, got one. That's enough for me. Oh, mixing table. That's pretty cool. And binos. No way. Any good loot over there? Ooh. I see that toolbox. Oh, and a military crate. No way. Oh, what the fuck is my luck? Another bow? What? How am I this loaded again? After that, I decided to craft myself a water pipe and check out air fuel hey. in hopes of recycling a few of my components. Oh, that's multiple guys. Oh yeah. Fuck. Yeah, of course. And it... <laughs> it lies, they're so obvious and he didn't see it. Okay, we're fine. Beach recycle quickly. Is there fuel in airfield? No way. That's 200 scrap. I am gone. Okay, that is 200 scrap for me. Most importantly, I can get the barrack down. Yes, I know. It is time to seal the bunker. So after sealing my bunker, I locked off, hoping to wake up to an unrated base. We're unrated! Let's go! Bunker stands. Oh no shot! <laughs> Someone tried to raid me! Somebody destroyed the wooden door, but my bunker was there. Let's fucking go. 
And there it was. My bunker base saved my whole wipe because the raiders thought that they were only doors to my loot. But actually there was a sealed bunker behind the first door and that made them stop raiding me. Damn, this, this base actually saved me. The bunker. I always like to start off my day with farming. But while doing that I came across a fairly interesting shop and that was a shop selling a tier 2 workbench for only 2000 sulfur. So I headed straight there to check out if the drone was, was reachable by foot. Think the vending machines on the roof. And now I'm getting roof camped. I was not able to access the vending machine, so that meant I had to head all the way down to Outpost to buy my workbench level 2 there. But it was still worth it. Okay, the tier 2 is mine. Oh, that is great. Because the tier 2 workbench was the most expensive thing that I had in my possession, I waited until night time until I made my journey back home. And we've made it back with the tier 2. That just saved me so much time. And because by the time that I came back home, it was still night time, I enjoyed the cozy vibes of my base and waited until day. My next objective was to get the garage door blueprint, and for that I needed some more scrap farm. What? That tree just spawned there. <laughs> okay, I'm actually gonna destroy that tree so that I can use that zip line later. Get some more metal cooking and yeah, I'm just gonna suicide. After that, I decided to go check out airfields to look for some players. Oh shit. Oh I'm ass at this game. I oh, is I should have won that. Yeah the fucking Thompson <laughs> I'm so fucking bad. Okay. Time to get focus again. I have to kill an animal. That is what I have to do. The idea of killing players was great, but one thing that I forgot is that I build bases. <laughs> I don't fight players, I'm the solo base builder, I can't do anything more. Okay, that is good. Military crates. Oh fuck! Wait, <laughs> that's not a player. <laughs> that plant just looked like a fucking player. Okay.
That was a very good Lutron. Maybe even enough for the garage door. Hopefully. <laughs> I need eight scrap. That is enough scrap. Now let me get back home and get the garage door research. There it is. Ugh. Oh yeah, now my base is way more secure. Ah! And with my garage doors down, I felt accomplished with what I had managed to do in the short time that I played this wipe. And that's also the conclusion of this video. I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that is still watching, because that really means a lot to me and this video took a lot of time. But that's all for now, so see you next time.